Okay, guys. <clears throat> so, I will say, I think there's only going to be a two-parter because I'm, I'm feeling like we're already halfway done and we're early on part two. So, let's see. Tell me about the tower. Got the Eight of Swords. Truth and justice. Protection from enemies who would steal one's fortune. Mm. Interesting. Overall energy. Page of Wands. Propagation of light. Confounds the wicked and slander. Saves from enemies. This is interesting because it's giving me the impression That someone might have tried to and when I say someone this could be just the opposite side <laughs> if you know what I mean um, it doesn't have to be a specific person or a specific human but someone might have tried to keep you to apart Someone might have tried to how to put this. I'm seeing the image of like them trying to braid your energy in with someone that wasn't for you and trying to braid this person's energy with someone who wasn't for them. With the tower here, they have freed themselves from this. Hold on. I don't know why my eye is like watering up. So they have freed themselves from this cage. And you healing is you freeing yourself from yours. So now you're both single. Now you're both ready to mingle. Like a Pringle. And um, it's the right time. Divine timing is at play. You're not going to be single for long. That much I'm going to tell you. Tell about the Nine of Pentacles. Five of, <laughs> Five of Swords, Desire to Know, and the Acquisition of Wisdom. Hmm. Overall Energy, Queen of Wands, Divine Power, Guards Against Mental Troubles. So the Five of Swords can mean multiple things. For some of you, this shows me that you are going to be, um, I'm not sure why my eye is watering right now. I don't feel anything in it. It's just, could be the fan making me cry. Um, I think it's gonna represent the fact that when this person comes in, you may have people around you telling you, oh no, this, this may be, like maybe they don't look like what you had always envisioned you wanted. I don't think there's going to be a lack of attraction though. But maybe they don't fit a specific role or a specific ideal that you had. And five of swords can be people talking to you about this person negatively and saying things like, oh, you don't really want to mess with that. That's not really your thing. Try and talk down to it. Or two, you could be doing this about yourself. Even though you're showing up as Queen of Wands, I don't think, I don't know. I feel like a true Queen of Wands is pretty confident in herself. A Queen of Wands is not going to be worried about what other people like or don't like. A queen of wands is not going to be selecting a partner based off of what other people would appreciate. But somehow that's what's happening here. And it's coming out with the nine of pentacles, which means that it could be that a lot of the talk that's coming is from people who are single like you. And so they don't, they don't want you to stop being single. They kind of want you to stay in that, in that place because that way y'all can all be single together. That's not negative, but it is a little bit of hater energy. 
Because if the person, a person you love who has possibly been on your single journey with you finds someone that they love, you should be happy for them, right? Not try to keep them single just because you're single. So this could play out different ways. Either one, other people tell you this person isn't good enough for you. You tell yourself they're not good enough for you or you're not good enough for them. Or three, you might have people trying to talk against relationships and keep you single. Either way. Tell about the Four of Cups. Three of Swords. Love and submission. Cures illness. Influences paternal love. Gives long life. And this is clarifying the Four of Cups. That's interesting. Overall energy, Three of Cups, fame and renown. Influences commerce, voyages, and great discoveries. This person could have also been somebody who used their personal trauma or their personal pain to create something out of it. They may already be famous and renowned. Um, but with love and submission here, The thing about true partnership is that both partners are submissive to each other. It's not about the woman being submissive to the man or the man being submissive to the woman. They're equals. So they will only submit to each other. And it says cures illness. So I think some of you, that, that scar that's finishing healing, there may be a little bit there, um, a wound concerning fear of submission, fear of what happens if I surrender to this emotion, to this love, to this person, will they surrender to me? And it says influences paternal love. So it's very much about the masculine energy. Some of you may have been raised by a paternal figure, whether an actual father, a grandfather, a brother, an uncle that taught you that men will always abuse their position of power, that um, men will always be bullies, men will always be this, men will always be that. And it's okay to hate misogyny, but it's, it's not okay to hate men in general for the actions of others. Especially one like this, who's been doing the healing. So they may trigger a little bit of that. Um, this may be somebody who's very sure of themselves. They're very confident. How do I put this? Like, it's not like they're high handed, but they know how to take control. So for example, um, if they ask you out to dinner, this would be somebody who has plans. They're not waiting for you to tell them where you want to go. They already know where they want to go. They already know where they want to take you. Um, they might pre-order a specific wine. Like there's a lot that you don't really have to do. And some of you may take it negatively. Some of you may take it like, ah, oh, they didn't even ask me where I wanted to go. Well, you know, we can't have it every which way. <laughs> if they don't ask you, the complaint could be, this person doesn't have plans. They don't even know what they want to do. And if they don't ask you, you're acting like they should have consulted you. I'm of the belief that if somebody asks me out, I would rather they already know what they want to do. Because I don't want to sit there and have to figure out their budget, have to figure out what they can or can't afford, what they can or can't eat, because I'm pretty flexible. I'm picky, but it, I'm picky about what I like, as in wherever I go, I'm very selective about what I eat. But wherever we go, I'll find something I can eat. Let me put it that way. So, yeah, this is something that's going to be very, you're going to discover things about yourself, being with this person when it comes to how you perceive masculine energy, how you perceive love and submission, because they will submit to you, but they expect you to submit to them too. And I think you, you might have issues with that. Some of you may be very quick to accept their submission, but when it comes time to return it, <laughs> you'll be like, huh? What? <laughs> Me? Oh, my turn. <laughs> Talk about the Ten of Pentacles. Look at this. We're clarifying 
the Ten of Pentacles, right? Look at the card that came out. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> I love it when that happens because Tarot's like, bitch, I said what I said. And this Ten of Pentacles says, inner and outer work helps one keep their job, protects against disasters. Let's see the raw energy. Justice. Makes truth known in court. Causes innocence to prevail. This is somebody who may... Okay. Okay. So if you are somebody who's dealing with the courts in one way or another, if you're trying to close a divorce, um, if you're trying to create a product from your, from your trauma and your pain and now you need an agent or you need a contract signed... You, you may need help legally. There's somebody who's going to help you legally. They're either... Either they may be a private investigator. They may be a um, attorney. Or they may know people there. Like something here about... They are going to help... Look at the image even. They're going to help you get justice. And it's not even, it doesn't even have to mean that somebody's doing anything wrong to you. But let's say, for example, that you write a book and now it's, it's on the top, you know, um, on the New York Times bestseller list. And you've got contracts coming in for movies, maybe, or Netflix, or, you know, something wonderful. This may be somebody who makes sure that you're paid adequately. This could be somebody who makes sure that you don't get taken advantage of. So it, it's whatever it is, Ten of Pentacles is here twice. You're going to be much better off because of their help. Let's put it that way. And again, inner and out of work. They've done both. They, they're, this is not somebody who's ugly. They may not be your normal type, but they're not unattractive. They, they put work into themselves, into how they look, into how they present themselves. So this is going to be somebody who's, you know, crisp, clean. <laughs> I'm saying crisp because <laughs> that sounded weird. Like they're not a, a potato chip. <laughs> I mean crisp in the sense that I don't, I maybe it's a Libra thing. I have a Virgo. I see that could be it too. Um, I really don't like it when men... Or women, honestly, because I'm bi. So it's both ways. They'll like put on clothes that are wrinkled. Or they just look disheveled. I'm just like, ew. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I like my partners well put together. Um, in fact, when I was with my husband, and this is just a personal story, but when I got married to my husband... He did not come from a family that was very aware of what color goes with what skin tone and things like that. And he was, he's, he's dark complected. He's a, he's a dark brown Mexican. Okay. X. He's an X, but he was a dark brown Mexican. And so I would look at what colors looked good on his skin. And I was always like, oh, if he would let me dress him. But I didn't want to be forcing my way of doing things onto him. So I waited for like our first anniversary. And I went out and bought him a full suit. Like nice, nice suit. I bought him the shirt with the with the French cuffs. I bought him the cufflinks. I bought him a tie with the tie pin, a cologne, shoes, socks, belt. I bought him the whole ensemble because I wanted him to look good. And anytime he would wear the stuff I bought him because that I knew he wanted to look really good, I was always offering to iron it for him because I wanted him to look crisp, clean cut edges. You know, I do not like people wearing clothes that are wrinkled. It just looks so disheveled. I can't, I can't. So, <laughs> so when I say crisp and clean, I mean like lines, like the, they'll, they'll, if they wear jeans, for example, you'll be able to see the starch line. <laughs> it doesn't mean that they have to wear formal clothes all the time, but but there's not somebody who's going to be messy or disheveled. Unless you are, and that's what you like. I just don't think that that's not what I see here. But that could also be because that's my preference, and I could be projecting that. So 
let me put it this way whatever they look like you're gonna like it okay let's just narrow it down there whatever they look like however they present themselves you're gonna dig it not just the outer part but the inner part because outer part you may when you meet this person you may think oh they're a good looking person they're attractive but you may not know if the inside matches the outside it will it will also, it helps them keep their job. For some of you, it could be that the legal issue you're dealing with isn't a divorce or isn't a, um, it could be that maybe you may be going through some sort of lawsuit with the company you're working with because it does say helps one keeps their job and protects against disasters. Whatever it is that you are going to court for, this is somebody who's going to help you. So either it's because they're a friend or it's because they are an attorney or a judge or they have connections in that world, you will you'll be protected. They will help protect you. Tell me about the fool. Oh, I got two cards. Okay. So we got two of cups again. Fruition provides expansive intelligence and gives the grace of God. And we've got <laughs> King of Wands. Eloquence gives answers to those in doubt. See what the overall energy is. Ace of Cups. <laughs> Rejuvenation. Obtains the mercy of God and gives long life. Listen. Listen. A lot of you are going to feel like you're coming back to life because of this connection. And maybe you didn't even... Oh, I just messed up the whole row. Sorry, I pulled, in, pulled them all down. Um, maybe you didn't even think about that. Maybe you didn't even think about how down you've been feeling or you didn't really think about how low you've possibly been feeling until you come across this person you're gonna be like oh i feel like i'm coming back to life and it kind of alerts you that maybe you weren't feeling your best but just having this person in your energy it's it's gonna feel fantastic you're gonna feel great it's it's gonna be amazing because again remember how you the collective showed up as queen of wands right they're showing up as the king of wands it's gonna be very attractive two of cups you're gonna fall in love you may resist it you may be kicking and screaming on your way but um the universe is dragging you to the edge of a cliff and then before you know it boom, it's gonna flick you off and you're gonna fall madly deeply but you're gonna love it tell me about the seven of cups it's gonna be everything you ever dreamed of Tell you about the Seven of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Submission to a higher order. Identifies traitors and destroys their plans. So this is interesting because, let's see, hold on. <laughs> the devil. Seduction and downfall. Communicates with the dead, teaches the occult and magic. I think that this is, I'm telling you, this is somebody who is very in touch with the spiritual world. And initially they may scare you because you'll be like, oh God, if other people who possibly didn't understand the esoteric world still were pulling on my energy, were creating all this havoc, what will this person who understands the principles behind the esoteric rules, what will they do to me? But little by little, you'll understand that they are not, um, we have Samael on this card and something I'm getting with Samael. Um, Samael was considered the, the angel who did God's left hand work, right? So he was the executioner, the things like that. I think that this person may work with certain deities that initially are scary when you realize like, oh my God, but as you get to know this person, that may be why you freak out in your mind. <laughs> maybe they do voodoo or maybe something that scares you that maybe you've never encountered before. But as you get to know this person, you're going to realize that they don't use that. They don't abuse that power. They are very responsible with it and they use it to make a positive impact. So the submit, they have already submitted to their purpose. They've submitted to a higher power. 
and they're going to submit to you. But they will expect that return. Also, identifies traitors and destroys their plans. Because of the type of gifts that they have and the type of entities that they communicate with, communicates with the dead, I told you this may be somebody who has mediumship skills or they know how to tap in and ask questions. They, they also do divination. They're going to help you identify whoever's... If someone's trying to take you down, they're going to help you identify that person and how to how to protect yourself from them, how to expose them and destroy their plans. So nice, nice. Okay, let's see. Let's do the next row. I'm hearing, I'm not very fond of this song because it's it sounds codependent as fuck to me, but I'm hearing the song of Louis Capaldi, um, I'm Gonna Love the Hell Out of You. So again, it's a love that's going to finish sealing that scar that you may have. So, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Yeah, it keeps playing in my head. I'm going to love the hell out of you. I don't know where. <laughs> That's all that's playing in my head. Six of Cups. Now, the Ace of Pentacles just came out, but it came out reversed, which I'm not excited by. Two of Wands, but we'll clarify, see what's up. And the Page of Swords. Because all the other cards are positive, so... Either one... This could feel this could feel too good to be true for some of you. Let's see, we've got six of swords, king of wands again, knight of swords. It may be that hesitation. Maybe they're moving too fast for you and you think like there's no way this is real. This is love bombing. I don't think that they they can sustain this. So you may, I'm just going to be honest, you may test them a little bit. You may be on this plan of, well, we'll see. Let's, let's go slow. Eight of Pentacles. There will be something where you have to see them every day, though, or you have to interact with them every day. And you communicate with them a lot, but somehow it's like, it could be that it's also difficult with the Six of Cups here. It's difficult for you to let go of the past. It's going to force you to make a decision about whether you want to stay stuck in the past or you want to move forward. That's what it comes down to. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Affinity and friendship obtains the friendship of anyone. Huh. Interesting. So let's see. Eight, eight of Pentacles again. Intellectual talent provides knowledge. So initially, <clears throat> this may be somebody that you approach professionally. So again, they could be an attorney. They could be a private investigator. They could be a judge. They could be something that helps you with this legal issue that you're going to be dealing with. But they become your friend. Eight of Pentacles came out twice. There's some knowledge that they're providing. You're going to see a lot of talent in them. It's almost like, again, it's that feeling of, I feel so comfortable around this person. I really enjoy myself around this person. Then before you know it, you're talking to them every day. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. The Magician, Spiritual Wisdom, and Magic helps one gain wisdom and discover hidden secrets. Again. So the communication that you and this person may be having every day, let's see, Six of Wands, longevity protects against infirmities. Yeah. The communication you may be having with this person every day may have to do with that. May have to do with them investigating things for you, trying to get you answers, trying to um, help you gain wisdom. But you're going to learn a lot from this person. You're going to learn a lot from this person. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles reversed. There's another song coming down. <laughs> this is in Spanish, though. This one I'm going to look up. That's a beautiful song. 
Um, this is from a singer called Emmanuel. And it's called, um, I think it's called Tengo Mucho. It's basically Tengo Mucho Que Aprender De Ti, Amor. Tengo Mucho Que Aprender De Ti. Yeah, this one. Okay. So he's basically saying, I have a lot to learn from you. Um, so the song says, Enseñame. Yeah, it says, teach me. Teach me to be happy the way you are. To give love the way you give love. To forgive the way you forgive. Without, re without remembering the hurt ever again. Teach me. Teach me. To console others the way that you console them. To trust the way that you trust to give out smiles the way you do, without expecting anything in return, anything at all. I have so much to learn from you, my love. I have so much to learn from you. Your sweetness and your strength, your the way that you give yourself, your determination to conquer me every day. Um, I have so much to learn from you, my love. I have so much to learn from you, my love. How you forget Los Enfados, which is like, yeah, how you forget moments of anger, how you make sure to honor your promises, how you guide your steps every day. And then he says, teach me, teach me to not lie the way that you don't lie, to not envy the way that you don't envy, to get rid of, oh God, las penas, to get rid of sorrows the way that you free yourself from sorrows, to share happiness the way that you do. And then again, it just repeats. It's a beautiful song. But it's basically someone who is so in love with how the other person lives. And they're saying, I want to learn from you. I want to be like you. Teach me. So this could be them telling you this. Or this could be you telling them. With the Ace of Pentacles reversed and Queen of Swords... Um, Okay, so something just came through. Whoever this person is, you may have a history with them. I was trying not to go down that route, but you may have a history with them. They may have been the one to hurt you. And now they're coming in with all this. No, this time I'm serious. Um, I really mean it. That may be why you're freaking out because you're not used to this person meaning what they say. And I'm saying that because the Ace of Pentacles was reversed with the Queen of Swords, which is ritual and ceremony can acquire all the treasures, treasures of heaven and earth. And the Page of Wands, propagation of light, confounds the wicked and slanders, saves from enemies. So this may be somebody who's helping you, but you, you want to stay friends because you don't trust them anymore. You, you are holding on to the history you two have, as in you care about them, you will always remember them. But that could be why Ace of Pentacles reversed, because you're just like, I just don't think I could take you seriously. Because interesting, I'm seeing this person totally being in this energy of being gung-ho, um... Hierophant energy, Four of Wands energy. I think it's going to heal you. I, I know this, this sounds a little twisted, but it's almost like it could be that the purpose of them coming in and, and showing all this effort is to finish closing that scar you have with this person when you realize that they care for you all along, but I don't see you giving in. Now I'm going to look up that song of Love the Hell Out of You because... That could be what it, this person could be a little codependent. Okay, so this song says You've got your demons spent seasons on the dark side of the moon. Don't try denying because you know that I've been there too. Right now, I know how it feels like the world's going to end, but I'll get you through if it's the last thing I do. I'm going to love the hell out of you. Take all the pain that you're going through. 
I'll bring you heaven if that's what you need, because you've always loved the hell out of me. You brought resounding techniques for my grounding when I had lost it a little too far from the middle to find. Some solace from all this exhaustion and monsters of mine. So you better know that I'll bring you home. I'm going to love the hell out of you. Take, and the, the chorus continues. And the moment you feel half complete, know the moments are temporary. When the fear, fear fuels the fire underneath. I'm going to love the hell out of you, etc., etc., because you've always loved the hell out of me. So it is justice in the sense that if you are there for this person, my eye keeps, well, I'm sorry, I don't know why it's watering when there's nothing there. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Anyways, um, you may have been there for this person when they were going through a lot. And now their their justice is that they're here for you. They're trying to help you while you're going through a lot. And I see you really struggling because I don't think you can trust this person. You are um, showing up as a queen of swords. So it's not like you're being rude. It's not like you're being hateful. But you're just like, I just don't trust you. I have to maintain boundaries. I have to... I have to protect myself. So look at her. She's wearing full armor, literally has a flaming sword. I don't see you letting this person in. And keep in mind, you don't have to. I know there's going to be some of you that are like, oh, y'all should open up to love. If you feel like this is not somebody, because they're showing up as a king, let's be real, this is not an emperor. They may be in love and they may really want to give you everything. But if they have done a lot to mess up the situation between you two. I see you looking at this like this is a valuable experience for me. I care for you. I will always care for you. But you broke my heart and you broke my trust. And I don't want to be with you. That's what it is. Talking about the six of cups. Page of Pentacles, loyalty and allegiance, friendship and reconciliation. Yep, yep, yep. Ace of Wands, fertility and multiplicity protects against despair, helps one be patient. So I think that one of the, one of the things that you really struggle with is that you're going to sense that this person is very passionate about you. They are showing up as a King of Wands. There was the Knight of Wands energy twice as well. So they may be very sexually attracted to you. That could have been what the Five of Swords was. That's why people around you are like, don't do it, don't do it. But I think that you already feel like you shouldn't do it. Because I see it mostly coming from you. You're just like, hmm. This kind of explains it. The Page of Pentacles. You don't see this person as someone who can be loyal. You don't, allegiance. You don't see this somebody as somebody who can who can promise what they say and mean it. Hold on. They can't make a promise and mean what they say is what I'm trying, that's what I'm trying to say. I see you telling this person that we can be friends. We can reconcile as friends. Or you did know this person as a friend and this is how you see them, like a page, like they're not, I have to be honest, they haven't shown up as a king of pentacles, so you could be right. And the ace of wands is here, so there is a lot of passion. They definitely have uh, fertility on the mind, if you know what I'm saying. With the two of swords, I don't know that... I've seen somebody else coming in for you. This feels like the person from the past now. I was really excited because I thought this reading was about the new person, but I'm starting to say it's the person from the past. And um, um, the two of swords following could be the fact that you have to choose between this person and the person from the that's coming in, the new one. And it could be that the only person, the only reason, the only purpose this person serves in coming back is in fin finishing healing the wound that they inflicted. And then catch and release, ladies. Let's see. Talk about the two of swords.
Ace of Pentacles, divine blessings, drives away evil spirits, rules agricultural production. This could be the new person. Because I was like, wait, I was reading the new person. I think it is, it's two. That's, that's all because I'm like, wait a minute, the, the energy shifted. I think you'll be dealing with two different people. And the hermit, alchemy and transformation, rules natural events, helps with spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think one person that's coming in is a new person. Somebody who's been doing the work on themselves, inner and outer. Somebody who matches you. And then somebody from the past is coming back. And this is going to be somebody who didn't want to be serious, didn't want to give 100%, didn't want to commit. Now they're going to want to commit. I just don't think you're... I feel like you're going to go for the person that knows true alchemy, the one that has transformed themselves, the one that can help you progress spiritually. Even if you still care for the person from the past, you're going to mentally put them in the compartment of a friend, somebody I care for, not a romantic partner. There is a, a possibility, though, that this person from the past only shows back up after you start dating the new person. Tell me about the Page of Swords. The star clemency and equilibrium protects against attacks in the courts. Again, that attack in the court thing is coming up. Maybe they need your help. Knights of Pentacles, light of understanding acquires knowledge and cures illness. That's a possibility as well. It could be that this person from the past needs your help in the courts. And they feel like you're the one that can give them this divine justice. You're the one that can get them... Um, I don't know why my eyes did this. Sorry. You're the one that can get them free or you're the one that can get them clemency. Because somehow they're looking at you like they're saving grace. Hmm. It's interesting because I feel like some of you still have a lot of codependency. I'm just going to be real. Uh, from what I can tell in the comments, there's a lot of you that are still clinging to things that you know don't work. And you're a little bit more aware of it now. Others of you have moved completely past it and, and that's great. I'm not judging anybody because ultimately we've all been there at some point. Some of you may want to help this person from the past and others of you are like, look, I'm sorry, I've got to disconnect. And it's not really telling me what you should do because that's a personal decision. But I do think that for some of you, these two will show up at the same time. For others, the person from the past will show up after you start talking to the new person. And there's some sort of court battle going on. I'm not really sure now who's helping who. But this is this moment in time with sacred star sacred scar being the overall energy this moment in time is for you to decide what you want to do what direction do you want to go because the person from the past is showing up fully wanting to commit but the new person is wanting to commit too you're gonna have to decide which one you are giving your loyalty and allegiance to because you honestly can't have both. And that's just how life is, right? You can't have your cake and eat it too. So that's what I got for you guys. Hopefully this brought you some clarity and guidance. It was a little jumbled because I didn't realize I was picking up on two different energies. But hopefully you understood. We'll see. Um, with that being said, I will end this collective here. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Looking forward to feedback. Talk to you guys later. Mwah.